Hello everybody, Yara here again. Um, basically, I realized that um, the other video that I recorded has too many um, sound interferences. Um, again, the, the speaking of the, um, of the sound. So, um, I um, try again, um, I tried with another camera with a, a sort of a, a web camera that you put on top, doesn't quite work either. So the, the computer did updates anyway, so I made a little um, uh, essay and it seems to be okay. So now, um, basically, i just recap what was said in the other video that I'm going to take off and put that one on. Is this morning, um, whilst meditating, I again received um, a channeling and or a transmission from, it seems, an angelic collective. And I don't know exactly uh, who they are because basically uh, I had to then curtail um, uh, had to sort of finish the channeling because somebody was outside in the courtyard. So I would have wanted to ask in the end when they say when they say goodbye and that they love us very much who they are. I just knew that they were some kind of angelic coming from some sort of angelic realm. Um, maybe they're going to come through again so bear with me in case they do um, now um, when i started sensing the information coming through i then started automatic writing straight or typing down what i was receiving and that's what i'd like to read to you because it pertains to the event it pertains to uh, the summer solstice and the code activation um, that we're getting. Um, I still have to read through and listen through again then what they have been saying. I just read out and I leave it up to you to make sense. Um, let me quickly get my water again before I start reading, just a minute. Okie dokie, yes, they are in her water. It's very interesting because it, it um, before I start reading, um, uh, autumn or fall is mentioned a lot, so that's fairly interesting. Um, I hope that's not my own filter because. I constantly have this October, October thing, but I actually recently couldn't sense anything pertaining to the event. I just let it come as such. Let me... So, let me... <clears throat> Today, nothing is sort of going um, as I should. I just started wondering whether, uh, for some bizarre reason, they don't want me to put that out, uh, so I hope, I don't know how many times I'm going to do this, in the end that will know it by heart. So, I'm going to switch to the text, it's about two pages almost. So, let's hope that this will work, and it's also quite late, it's almost 9 o'clock in the evening, and I've been pressure washing flagstones, all flagstones, all day, and I'm I've got really cold, actually it's been very close outside but I've still got very wet and cold feet and I'd really like to jump into the shower. So, let's try. Okay. I should be down here. Right, so today is um, coming almost to an end. Thursday, the 7th of... Um, I was going to say October, no, no, 7th of June 2018. And I'd just like to say before I start reading, 
before the uh, communication or the transmission starts becoming more fluid, um, it's just sort of the first paragraph, almost just sentences. So I try to be as coherent with that as I can. So it starts off with full activation of the DNA codes with rainbow frequency light frequency light light frequency maybe but I, I read it out as, as, as it came through full activation of the DNA codes with rainbow frequency light on summer solstice self-healing activation spirals and light code activation strengthening of the grid of light full activation of the rainbow codes last purging of the solar plexus center not chakra center and the clearing of the akash anchoring crystalline or crystalline codes into the dna further awakening and more further awakening and more beacons joining to hold the grid of light and higher frequency anchoring the frequency of new earth or the frequency of rainbow light of the new earth crown chakra and heart chakra merge to connect with a higher self and oversoul sensing the energy and frequency of kindred souls or lights across Gaia and now a new paragraph glimpses of October frequencies glimpses of October frequencies and a sense of enlightenment and high spiritual did I say October yes and high spiritual frequency altered perception towards fall or autumn seeing of purple or magenta in the skies sensing deepest understanding collectively a slow deeper and higher awakening as the light codes and rainbow frequencies of the solstice are held throughout summer Fall or autumn carries the full integration of all prior activations taking place now. If you share this timeline or other timelines, it ha or on other timelines, it has happened and is happening now or has just started happening. Fall or autumn is the slow and full divine assimilation of purple and magenta light frequencies. Despite the fact that these are the higher and thus faster frequencies, we experience them as slow. We, no, you. Sorry. As, sorry. You experience them as slow. Everything feels almost like a slow motion with the deep integration of the ship shift happening and slowly a sort of completion or an elongation, an elongation of being or living yourselves will take place as you reach further up and anchor deeper into the emerging fifth dimensional space rather it is a true awakening and understanding of the fifth dimensional space of frequency Hang on. sorry i have to go up frequency frequency okay fifth dimensional space of frequency most of you feel standing on the threshold of understanding. In fall or autumn, the wisdom and full recovered 
knowledge of the light codes will be in inverted commas understood in a five in a in a fifth dimensional circular or spiral way as the fifth cannot be understood in a three-dimensional paradigm the integration of fifth dimension will be integrated and understood on a fully holistic level with all your being with this deep and whole understanding you will be able to sense sixth and seventh dimension let us say it will feel far more in your grasp as for now for most of you that are awakening these dimension these dimensions will still feel somewhat abstract fall or autumn will bring a deep understanding as well as assimilation of higher frequencies communications with the angelic realms and beings of higher dimensions will be far more fluid and easier to open or let us say the channels will feel freer and less cluttered once the light codes of summer solstice will be fully assimilated and anchored fall or autumn will bring a certain feeling of wistfulness not sadness the wistfulness stems from the rediscovery of a place we once you once were and came from from a place you want i'm really far away from the screen so you don't have my head like this sorry the wistfulness stems from the rediscovery of a place you once were and came from a place you once were okay came from remembering also when gaia was populated with high frequency beings or your ancestors from the stars Though in the fall or autumn the gulf between the fully awakened and the sleeping will grow deeper and greater, yet with it grows the deep love and empathy for those that recoil or block or run from the stream of code that has held steady since March 2018. With this assimilated and rediscovered knowledge in fall or autumn will give rise to the first wave migrating to new earth. Okay. Yet many light workers will stay back more than anticipated from our point of view to aid those in need. After fall or autumn, awakened light workers will fully fall into their path and purpose. That's cool. The final wave that has happened, is happening and will happen, if you look from the vantage point of no time plane, i.e. from your oversoul or galactic self vantage point the final wave is subtle calm and all permeating bringing about this clarity that you have been lacking up until now on a wider collective level the final magenta or purple wave as we see it as we see it will anchor the clarity and sight, a sense that you were feeling in your meditations and in your lucid dreams up until now will manifest through your readiness fully. Fall or autumn is the purple and magenta light frequency that will accelerate or your higher consciousness states and will aid 
communications from all the beings of light that have assisted you through this journey. Hang on. Up, up, up. For our autumn will also be a deep phase of reflection and connection with your soul groups on Terra. No, it's not Gaia now, it's Terra, and outside it does look really purple. Bleeding heck, sorry. So overcast and dense, it does look purple. Mm, sorry. Terra, where is Terra? Uh, oh. Oh, right. Okay, fall or autumn will also be a deep phase, I repeat, of reflection and connection with your soul groups on Terra and soul groups from your celestial, from our celestial, from our celestial realms, galaxies and other dimensions. Most star seeds and light workers will live the autumn period as a sort of homecoming, a moment that you all have been waiting for. Many of you will perceive a clarity in the Earth's atmosphere, i.e. in your skies, never experienced in this century before. Many of you will perceive and feel the energy fields that emanate from all living beings, including flora and minerals, i.e. from rocks and mountain ranges. As I said before, you'll hear the Alps hum. Ranges, your atmospheric skies will indeed keep this purple and magenta hue, and with it, we repeat again, a clarity never experienced for many, many ages. Many feel like never before. When looking upon fall or autumn, sorry, the energies on your planet seem indeed to be flowing on a very harmonic level, like a clear tone or frequency that will be the magic of the wave of integration. Many more will indeed be more prepared and anticipated. Beyond fall or autumn things are still shaping, all is and will be in flux, and as you are the shapers and form givers of Gaia, not Terra anymore, Gaia, of Gaia and New Earth, you will determine the course of action, the course of action of next of the next few Earth years. We love you all so much. The light is indeed returning to Gaia, and consequently will shine brightly on New Earth. Gaia's ascended self. Gaia will itself undergo a transformation with the remaining star seeds and light workers, particularly the ones that can transmute or transform much lower frequencies, frequencies you would term as dark. We do not see from a point of view of dark and light. As all creatures carry the light of source, some to a greater, some to a far lesser degree. And then it signs off a message from my higher self and, and, and the angelic realms or angelic realm or collective. And then they say, We are here always with love and light. Thank you. Right, let me quickly minimize that. Now the question is whether my video went weird again, like I'm speeding up, I hope not. Um, 
I'm not quite sure what, well, I know what to do with it, but I have to ponder on this. Obviously what seems, um, what seems to, to, to stand out in this transmission from this angelic realm or collective somewhere. I don't know who they are. I really would have liked to ask them, maybe next time, maybe I try tomorrow morning when I'm meditating, who they really actually were. They felt very very loving and high vibration. So, um, it seems that codes or frequencies we're going to be receiving around um, solstice, summer solstice, will carry us through, and we will be assimilated through summer, and then sometime in fall or autumn, we shall receive this uh, anchoring or, or um, now I've got the, the um, yes, this wave, this magenta purple wave um, of many, oh, and I forgot what it was called, doesn't matter, oh, okay, um, so, and um, it's very interesting that they didn't work, want to, to go beyond that time, because we're going to be shaping and form giving ourselves what is going to happen. So very interesting. Right, I thought I'm going to put this out. I'll check if it came out okay. Let's hope so. And I hope that um, I just have to trust more what I'm channeling. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope um, this information is of some use to you. I'm certainly going to ponder on this again. Um, and as the guy said, love you all. And well, maybe I get some more information who they were. I would like to know. Have a lovely evening, a lovely day from all my heart and see what you do with this. Bye guys. Bye.